Go with me to Psalm 121, reading from verse 1 all the way through to the end. Psalm 121. Psalm 121. Read. One go. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall not that slumber nor sleep. Now let's go back. Go back to verse three. Shall we? Shall we read one go? Personalize it. Say, say, he will not allow my foot to be moved. He will not allow my foot. To say, be moved. God will not allow my foot to be moved. God will not allow my foot to be now you say he who keeps me will not slumber who keeps me will not slumber verse 4 behold he who keeps me put your name there remove Israel put your name there he who keeps He's David home. shall neither slumber no nor sleep, sleep. Amen? amen let's continue the Lord is my keeper shall we say the Lord is my keeper is my keep. I want you to declare it, confess it, let it sink into your spirit. Say, the Lord, the Lord is my keeper. Is my keeper. Shall he say, the Lord, the Lord is my keeper. Is my keeper. Shall he say, the Lord, the Lord is my keeper. Is my keeper. I pray that may Jehovah God keep you. Amen. That in this season may you be kept by the Lord. May you be kept. May your family be kept. May your children be kept. May your spouse be kept. May your career be kept. May Amen. your job be kept. Amen. May your business be kept Amen. in the name of Jesus. May Jehovah God keep you. Amen. Shout, I receive that. I receive that. Bible says, He who keeps, the Lord is your keeper. The, the, he, the Lord is your shade at your right hand. I like the part of verse 5 where the Bible says the Lord is your keeper. Tell your neighbor and say the Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my keeper. In other words, if the Lord is watching over you, he will not allow your foot to be attacked. He will not allow you to go through frustration and pain Amen. for no reason. The Lord will watch over you to keep you. Amen. The Lord will watch over you to preserve you. Amen. The Lord will watch over you to protect you. Amen. Shout, the Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my keeper. Shout, he say, the Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is literally, the, the, the psalmist said, the Lord is literally guarding over you. The Lord is literally preserving you. The Lord is literally watching over your soul. The Lord is literally protecting you. The Lord is literally, you see, it's, it's, it's like saying, I am keeping this wallet. You are protecting it in such a way that nobody can be able to take it out of your hand. And I want you to walk from today with that assurance that Jehovah God is keeping you. Amen. Shout, the Lord is keeping me. The Lord is keeping me. Shout, he say, the Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my keeper. Shout, he say, the Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my keeper. Shout, he say, the Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my keeper. You need that conviction and that assurance, ladies and gentlemen, as a child of God, that regardless of the arrows that shall be shot at you, Jehovah God shall keep you. Amen. Regardless of what the enemy will try to do, we shall be kept of the Lord. Amen. Regardless of what arrow shall be shot from where, any armory of the enemy we declare it shall go back to send away because the Lord shall keep you. Amen. Shout, I shall be kept of the Lord. I shall be kept of the Lord. Declare, say, I shall be kept of the Lord. I shall be kept of the Lord. Declare, say, I shall be kept of the Lord. I shall be kept of the Lord. Jehovah God shall keep you. He shall protect you. It is a declaration and a prophetic word that you run with, that you begin to assimilate and accept and walk with it, that the Bible said the word of God has assured us that we shall be kept. 
that he shall protect you that he shall keep you so you walk with that confidence and that assurance that Jehovah God shall keep you shout I shall be kept of God I shall be kept of God shout and say I shall be kept of God I shall be kept of God and he says he will let's go to that that said the Lord is your keeper he is your shade at your right hand See, the right hand in that particular scripture, right hand, when you see the word right hand in the Bible, it signifies power. It signifies influence. It signifies authority. The Bible said Jesus died and he's seated at the right hand of the Lord. Right hand is a place of power. Right hand is a place of strength. Right hand is a place of authority and it's a place of honor. And now the Bible says that the Lord is your shade at your right hand. In other words, the Lord is not just keeping you even for the places where authority power, influence is supposed to proceed from for you. God is watching there. In other words, the enemy shall not allow any evil thing to, uh, I mean, in, sorry, the Lord shall not allow any evil thing to strike you at the place where it is supposed to project power, your place where you are supposed to project favor, oh, the yes. place where you are supposed to project strength. Yes. God shall keep you, Amen. not just keep you, he shall protect your Amen. places of authority. He shall protect your places of influence. Amen. He shall protect your places of honor. Amen. He shall protect you at your right hand. He is a shade at your right hand. Glory Amen. be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now let's go to the next verse. Now, the sun shall not strike you by day. Tell the verse, say, the sun shall not strike me by day. The sun shall not strike me by day. Nor the moon by night. Nor the moon by now, night. Now, we are going to take these scriptures and we are going to pray through them tonight. That behold this season between now and December, may Jehovah protect us. Amen. May Jehovah keep us. Amen. May Jehovah secure you Amen. from any projections of the enemy. Yes. You are not pleading to any man. You are pleading to the king of kings oh, and yes. the lord of lords. That in your going out and in your coming in, yes. may he keep you. May he preserve you. Amen. May he protect you. Amen. May he secure your life Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Are you hearing me? Now he said, the sun shall not strike you by day. I, I've explained this thing, I mean, some time ago when I was teaching on voices. There is something called the voice of the sun. Tell you, say the voice of the sun. The voice of the sun. And there is something called the voice of the moon. Or in simple terms, because you know, somebody said, ah, but the, the sun cannot speak. Yes, and the moon cannot speak. It's what it simply means is that there are powers or forces that are projected from the sun they are powers and forces that are projected from the moon. Now, yeah. when we say the sun shall not strike you by day, you see, in these simple terms, if I'm just to even try to explain this scripture in basic English, it is more like saying the sun shall not hit you by day, isn't it? Yes. Not the moon by night. night. When it is daytime and it is sunny, the scorching rays of the sun will get to you. Are you getting me? Yes. So he was not talking about just the scorching rays of the sun. He is talking about the powers that proceed from the sun and the powers that proceed from the moon. And that is a prayer I would want us to pray today. You see, when the sun strikes you, what it simply means is that when you are, the sun shines during the day, daytime of your life signifies the apex of your life. It signifies the, the time when your life is moving on so well. Daytime of your life signifies when everything looks good, when everything is okay, when everything seems to be nice and glamorous and all that. And all of a sudden, the enemy decides to release an attack. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. When the sun strikes you by day, that is when somebody is rising to the top of a CEO and all of a sudden they get some scandal and they lose their job and they become jobless. Somebody at the top moving from the top all the way to bottom. That means the sun has struck you. 
you had a happy family, everything was working, and all of a sudden, you lose everything. When you are in the daytime of your life, and the powers that proceed from the sun attack you, that is yes. when we say the sun has struck you. But we lift a prayer in the name of Jesus that the sun shall not strike you by day. Amen. I said the sun will not strike you at your daytime. The sun will not strike you at your daytime. Amen. The sun will not strike you at your daytime. Amen. The sun will not strike you at your daytime. Amen. In the name of Jesus. He said the sun shall not strike you by day. No, the moon by night. The voice of the moon or the power that proceeds of the moon talks about strange demonic diseases. Strange demonic diseases, most of the time without cure. When the moon strikes you, it means you have been afflicted with a strange disease. Strange demonic diseases. It is from the word moon in, 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 in when those of us that studied a bit of science in school, when you have a few did this, I mean, eclipse of the moon. How many of you remember eclipse of the moon? What is the eclipse of the moon? <laughs> huh? what, what, what is eclipse of the moon? I remember some years back we were in school and we were writing an exams and then the first question was, I think it was agricultural science and the question was what is erosion? So now the guy seated by me, I remember him, he was called Edward. He was just on my right. So, he, you know, I had finished my work. And then he says, David, number two, number two. I'm like, I'm, so I'm trying to define erosion to him so that he can at least get something because that one, eh, it was bad. <laughs> so I'm just trying to tell him erosion is now, he's telling me I should spell erosion and erosion is in the question. I'm like, Edward, I can't help you at this point. <laughs> so I'm telling him now, right, erosion is now he says spell erosion. I'm like, what? And the question is there, what is erosion? And he's asking me to spell what? Erosion. I'm like, hey, were you in that, do you have those friends who were very, very, they were especially blessed in school? <laughs> that even when you are telling them the answer, they will still want you to spell the answer. So, now from the, in Latin, moon is referred to as Luna. Tell your neighbor and say Luna. Luna. So, that's where we get I mean, lunar eclipse, which we refer to as eclipse of the moon. Now, if from the word lunar, that we get the, that disease called lunatic, or that condition called lunatic. Say lunatic. Lunatic. When we say somebody is lunatic, what does it mean? They are what? They are what? Come again? They are not in their right mind, isn't it? Now, when we say someone is lunatic, it means mentally they are not very okay. And it will only take a miracle to deliver someone from that kind of a condition. All forms of mental disorders, all forms of disorders, I mean personality disorders, and all those things, they are projections from the moon. All forms of, all forms of those disorders. And there are certain disorders, they become active at night. And there are certain disorders, they become active during the day. Yeah, yeah. There are certain disorders, they are manipulated by the movement of the moon. Mm. If you have someone that has, that has a bipolar condition, you will know yeah. that sometimes they are so okay. Mm. But it gets to a certain period in the month, all the time, the disease strikes. And it's always, it's almost all the time. Within a certain period, there is that condition that comes and it begins to, it's all of a sudden. The condition begins. Why? Because it is controlled by the moon. There are projections that are projected into the moon. Certain particular times in the month that these diseases come in the course of the year. Why? Because uh, there was somebody I know, I mean, uh, just around his birthday, 
every time he, he had he had um, schizophrenia every time just out getting close to his birthday the condition was spiked why because it is a demonic projection projected into the moon that has to occur during a certain period of time there are certain demonic cycles that repeat in people's lives during certain satanic um, um, times in their lives all every some people every june some evil thing must happen to you how many of you can, can attest to that? There are certain things that go wrong with, around a certain period of time. Those are projections into the moon. You must rise up as a child of God and reverse it and negate it and contend with it. Otherwise, it shall contend with you. Are you getting me? And if you are not spiritual enough to determine what fights you at what time, that means you are spiritually ignorant. Because there, are, there is no condition that just happens. Most of the attacks that come out against us, they come around certain periods of time. And today we are going to pray that every projections into the moon, into the lunar, to release satanic attacks against us, to strike us at the wrong time, we declare, let them backfire. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Some of you, around your birthday, some, somebody has to break your heart. Around a set, something evil must happen. And it's repeated, repeat, it happens repeatedly. And sometimes you don't even have control over it. You begin to wonder, what is going on here? Why is it that this thing seems to happen all the time? But today we want to stand as men and women of prayer and declare any form of evil cycle we reverse. 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 In the name of Jesus. May Jehovah God activate a shift in your life. That any projections into the moon. That is where the psalmist said, The sun will not strike me by day. In other words, when I am doing well and I am getting to the, to the top, no attack shall come against me in simple terms. And then when I am doing well and I am getting to the top, I will not get any demonic disease. That particular verse, com I mean, explained in basic language is that because this is a prophetic, metaphoric language. It is, it is a metaphor that actually explains um, and that you need a better way of understanding to bring it home for someone that possibly may not understand the prophetic meaning of it to understand. It, it's when you say the sun shall not strike you by day, that means when you are at the top and you are performing, you are doing well, life is going on well for you, evil shall not strike you. Amen. And then when you are at the top and you are doing well, strange diseases shall not happen to you. Yeah. Then, haven't you realized that most of you, some people when they are about to get rich, life is about, then they will say, they, the doctors will say they have diabetes, they have CG, what? I mean, they cannot do anything. You cannot even eat meat. Hey. After laboring all your life, you have been eating ugali and vegetables, no meat. Now that God has, is blessing you with money to buy meat, now doctors tell you don't eat red meat. Which witchcraft is that? Are you getting my point? That when you are getting to the top, evil shall not strike you. Strange Amen. diseases shall not strike you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. your children shall not be victims of any form of disorder. Amen. I wish I would hear a better amen. Amen. Hear, hear me. You don't understand what when I mean, I mean, I mean, it is a serious issue. Say, I declare your children will not have any form of disorder. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Now let's go to the next verse. And then we shall begin to pray. The, shall we read one go? The Lord. Now, you see, you see, now he says it, hold it there. You see, all these things are they, they run sequentially. Go to verse six. Go to verse six. Said the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. He's talking about different form of attacks. Now he comes to verse eight. Let's go. He shall preserve your soul. 
Now he says, the Lord shall preserve you from all forms of evil. May that be your testimony. Amen. I said, may that be your testimony. Jehovah shall preserve you yes. from all forms of evil. May that be your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Any form of evil, yes. any form of attack, yes. attacks on the land, yes. attacks from your village, yes. attacks at your workplace, yes. attacks from your friends, yes. we decree and declare, yes. Jehovah shall preserve you, preserve. the Lord shall preserve you, preserve. the Lord shall preserve you preserve. from all forms of, of evil. evil, in the name of Jesus. Amen. He shall preserve your soul. Amen. He shall preserve your mind. Amen. He shall preserve your soul. Amen. He shall preserve you. He shall give you peace of mind. Amen. 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 May Jehovah give you peace of mind. Amen. I said, may Jehovah give you peace of mind. Amen. May Jehovah give you peace of mind. May Jehovah give you peace of mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, may he preserve your life from every evil. May he preserve your life from every evil. Yes. And he says, the Lord shall keep, he shall keep your life. Now, last verse, let's go to the last verse. Uh -huh. Now, I want you to personalize this scripture. The Lord shall preserve my going out and my coming in from this time forth and even when forevermore Jehovah shall preserve your going out he shall preserve your going out he shall preserve your going out he shall preserve your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore let's be upstanding may that be your portion you want to lift up your voice in prayer you want to declare that may Jehovah God preserve your going out. Yes. May he preserve you. Yes. You are taking the first prayer. You are speaking the preservation of God yes. over everything you do, over everywhere you go. You are declaring right now in Jesus' mighty name that may he cover you. Yes. May he preserve you. May he protect you. Yes. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and pray. 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 Lift up your voice and
You are lifting up your voice and you are declaring in the name of Jesus. You are speaking the preservation of God upon your life and upon everyone connected to you. You are declaring in the name of Jesus that your family is preserved. preserved. Your brother is preserved. preserved. Your sister is preserved. preserved. Your job is preserved. preserved. Anything that concerns you, you are speaking the preservation of God. The Bible says the Lord is your keeper. You are enforcing that dimension of God in your life. You are telling the Father, keep my job. Amen. Father, keep my business. Amen. Father, keep my marriage. Amen. Father, keep that family member. Amen. Keep that brother, that sister that the enemy want to attack. Father, keep her. You are speaking and declaring that, oh Lord, keep that man. Oh Lord, keep that brother. Oh Lord, keep that sister. Anyone connected to you that needs to be kept of the Lord. You are lifting up your voice and you are declaring, may they be kept of the Lord. Come on, lift up your voice. Oh, <laughs> 
you are declaring every voice of the sun, every voice of the moon, you are commanding them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. That any evil projection against your life, you are declaring, let it backfire. Fire. Any strange attack that is not of God, you are declaring in the name of Jesus, may it backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire. See, when, when you read Job chapter 1, the Bible says, when the devil, when God said, have you considered my servant Job? The devil said, is it not you that has put a hedge of protection around him and around everything that he has? In other words, the devil could not penetrate until God gave Job, um, the devil permission and said, now go and attack him. Everything is in your hands. There is no way the enemy can come after you if God does not give permission. Amen. So today you are declaring in the name of Jesus yes. that may heaven cover you every way around. If the sun decides to strike you at the top, let it backfire. If evil incantations are made into the moon to bring strange diseases against your health, you are declaring, let it backfire. backfire. That your children's health are protected. Your spouse's health is protected. Anyone connected to you by the mandate of the Holy Ghost, you are declaring the moon shall not strike them with strange attacks. Come on, lift up your voice.
declaring that any request, any desire upon your heart, you are declaring that may God give you a testimony before this year ends. I receive. I strongly believe that there's going to be mega testimonies this season. I receive. I'm telling you, if you are prophetically sensitive, any time the enemy tries to do his worst, God will do his best. Amen. And even this week, I've been receiving so many strange testimonies uncommon testimonies you want to lift up your voice yes. that between now and December yes. may God give you a tangible testimony I receive it a mega testimony I receive it a mega testimony I receive it are you hearing me yes, yes. that God will command a mega door to open unto you that will shock your life that God will command some strange favor, some international favor, some great doors to open onto your life. You are presenting your request before the order. Come on, lift up your voice and begin to talk to God. Lift up your voice, talk to God. Lift up your voice. Talk to the Lord. Present your case before the altar of the Lord right now. Rabba <laughs> <laughs> 
In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare heavens have opened. Heavens have opened. Any evil arrow shall be reversed. Shall be reversed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come and touch the altar.